for, I'll say, why aren't you talking to me? Meryl, I've used you a million times. If, if I was newer in this business or I wanted to know how to turn somebody I just met in an airport or in a hotel or whatever into a referral, I'd have one for Meryl Lyon. And every person here, with one exception, I don't know Rebecca as well, but I'll tell you in a second why I asked her to be here, I've known and I've come to respect and admire for the way you do your business. And I mean that sincerely. Um, those of you who know me well know I'm not much of a BSer. And you'll notice that, uh, although I'm, I'm calling this group the professionals group, group number one, because I hope that this is the start of something that will, that will be well received, I didn't call it high performers. I didn't call it top agents. It's, it's not about that. Uh, certainly everybody here fits that category uh, or is on the way to fitting that category, but it's, it's more you're here because I have tremendous respect for how you do your business and for the reputation you have with others and because your resources within this organization are what makes us who we are. And we've got a lot of folks, fortunately, a lot of folks um, that are like you, um, different in some ways, similar in others. So for the last couple of years, I've felt that we haven't, uh, that Rick and I didn't do, um, we weren't effective enough at getting our agents to meet and to get to know each other as well as they could or should. And I thought, well, if we just encourage it, it'll happen, but you're busy. You know, I mean, you're just always busy. And if somebody, well, my thinking was if somebody sets it up, and takes the initiative to, to start the meeting and, and invite a group, that's the biggest hurdle. And then whether or not the, the time is well spent, I promise you, Tim, we won't go more than an hour, an hour max. But if you feel the time is well spent, then you'll come back, we'll, we'll continue doing it. And if you don't, we've at least given it a try. But the objective is to get people who I didn't think necessarily all knew each other, because um, I bet there are people at this table right now, we'll, we'll go through intros in a minute, that you know each other maybe by name, but not particularly all that well. I, I doubt there are that many people who know Gina or Rebecca because they're up in Murrieta and Temecula. In fact, Rebecca, <laughs> she's here because nobody knows she, me. <laughs> she's brand new. I mean, what, six months now. Six months. Six months and days. seven transactions. I thought. Wow. Yeah. I thought. Wow. I, thought wow. I thought you know, let's try to get different lengths of experience in in the groups as well. It's, this was not divided by office. I mean. It's not even e evenly distributed. We got a couple from Olivenhain, a couple from Encinitas, and everybody else is scattered. It was really I wanted to keep it to ten, and it was the you're the first ten names that came to my mind, uh, quite honestly. Thank you. So, Thank you. Uh, well, the, the, it's a privilege for me. So, what I thought we'd do is at least just go around the room for a, a, a short introduction, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go into some of the ideas I've got, and then. I really want to see whether or not this idea has merit or has traction. Because eventually where I, I hope this will go is if I can get a second group and a third group and a fourth group, depending on how many people there are that are interested and that would meet the criteria that I sent to the branch managers, um, then maybe eventually we'd start mixing them up. So I really want to get to the, where the top folks in the company know each other on a first name basis so that if Somebody in Temecula needs help from Rancho Bernardo. They don't necessarily look in the roster and call Linda Harbor and find out who she's got to help. They know Eric, okay? Um, or if Eric needs help in, in a market in a living name, he knows somebody to call. And sometimes you might just want to bounce ideas off each other or think, hey, I just saw this policy come out from the company. Am I understanding this the way you guys are understanding it? Or what's Marty thinking? You know, what, what's he planning on this one? So. Um, what, what I'd like to do is we'll start with Sandy just because she's on my left and um, mm -hmm. we'll just go around the table. I'm Sandy Chenoweth. I'm with the Encinitas office and what else do you want to know? <laughs> whatever, whatever these, I already know you. So know. These are, how long have you been with the company? Um, a long time, um, but I'm not sure how long, probably about 15 years or something. I was trying to think of that. It was, uh, it was, it was in the mid, mid to late 90s. Because okay, um, Sandy came up from Prudential, and I, I remember writing her note a little while ago. To this day, she's still, she's still in that office um, of, of all the folks who, who came in. Um, she was one of the ladies I was most proud of, and she's part of what makes that office so strong. Um, Karen Van Ness, Rancho Santa Fe. 
I moved down here two and a half years ago. I've been in the industry for 35 years. Um, I'm a developer as well as a home builder, besides selling and representing real estate buyers and sellers. And Karen, we were, we were it was, was it a Christmas party? I forget where we were in Rancho Santa Fe, and, and you were talking to me about just some of the ideas that, that, that you and I'm trying to remember if it was your husband, that, that just internet leads, internet, um, the way they're generating business, and just phenomenal ideas, just thinking about 30 miles a second.